What's up guys and welcome to Box Canyon. This has been a bucket list item for me for well before I even moved to Arizona I kept hearing about Box Canyon, Box Canyon. You got to take your Jeep to Box Canyon and I've done Box Canyon in California. Actually I think I have some footage of that that has never been seen before. It didn't take my Jeep though, I took my two-wheel drive van and it was kind of treacherous. Let's check that out. It's 106 degrees. This road is five miles long, and at the beginning it says four-wheel drive required, but piece of cake, there ain't nothing to it. Van life, baby. Woo! Four-wheel drive is clearly not required, although I gotta flip a U-turn somehow because this is the end and just gets more and more sandy. In actuality, I wouldn't have thought too much about this road, but that sign that said four-wheel drive required really uh, made me nervous. If it wasn't for the sign, I don't think I would have had so much anxiety about this at all. If only the sign wasn't here, it would have been an enjoyable drive. But anyway, we're not in Box Canyon, California. We are in Box Canyon in Arizona. And like I said, this is a bucket list item. Everyone has bucket list items, whether it be a small bucket, stuff you want to do like, you know, in the near future. And then there's a giant bucket, like lifetime goals. And while well, Box Canyon isn't like a lifetime goal, to run in my Jeep, but it definitely is like a short-term goal and it's something I've been wanting to do for like a year now. So, I teamed up with my friends, Arizona Jeep Adventures, AKA Danny and Emily and- Bella. Bella, yeah, Bella. their brand new pooch. And we're about to head on in to Box Canyon. Super excited. Super fired up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the rock pebble stick guy. Don't judge me. I usually just air down all the time at about 10, but this trail is like 45 minutes from my house. So we traveled a good little distance on the freeway. So I had to air up and well, now I'm the rock pebble stick guy airing down. Don't judge me. Holy. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest saguaro cactus I've ever seen, ever. This thing is enormous. Get a load of the size of this thing. Oh my goodness, this thing is absolutely massive in the Pontes. Look at it in comparison to my Jeep. It's huge. This thing's got to be super old. Now that, that's pretty cool. Carry on. This is it, achievement unlocked. We are about to enter Box Canyon, and I've seen a bunch of photos of this thing. I've obviously never been here before, but I think it might get pretty epic here momentarily. We're going in. We're going in. in. I'm excited. Box Canyon, bucket list. Check. With Arizona Jeep Adventures. This is rad. All right, let's get it. <laughs> you guys could see what I see. Danny and I are both like stopping on this trail, clogging it up super hard, just trying to get these shots. These razors are like, come on. It's getting a little, uh, it's super cool. This is obviously just a really popular place. Jeep smash 
Nice differential launch. <coughs> What's going on? I think it's fine. I think someone might have lost their Gafas del Sol out here in Box Canyon. You always wanted to do it, and right now you're like amazing. I mean, I think there could be like small buckets and big buckets though. Like, this is like a short term bucket. And I don't think I'm doing it justice, but it's pretty like awe inspiring in person. These walls are super tall, and we're just like weaving through this box. It's, it's a pretty great little canyon. I definitely, uh, I definitely wouldn't want to be here though after a rain, that's for sure, huh? I've been through here when it rains and it's Have muddy you? and it's muddy and it's probably gets a lot of mud, more water than when I was here last time, but it's pretty, Ooh. it's splishy and splashy in the rain. Sounds treacherous. We'll be back in the rain, we'll show them. Excuse me guys, it's coming through. Wait, left? Now this, I was not expecting. We emerged from the canyon and check out this view. It's incredible. Were you expecting this view? The only minor detail is I really hope no one comes the opposite way on this shelf road because there is only room for one in one direction. It'd be a tight squeeze if someone came through. Really nowhere to pull over at all. This is pretty rad, man. Way rad, definitely tight. Super rad. Seven. That was a pretty incredible trail, and there is no possible way I even came close to doing it justice here on this video. It's just one of those things, especially this kind of thing, it's always better in person. I did, however, upload this video in 4K. This is the first video I've ever uploaded in 4K, so leave a comment down below of what you thought of the quality. I'd greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Seriously, what are you waiting for? Like the video if you dislike the video, and a giant thanks to Josh at Shepherd's Daily Lives for hooking it up on this awesome new microphone. Oh baby. This thing is great. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. Get out there and uh, check something off your list. See you guys next week.